Hi, I'm working on the next video, which is going to be St. Petersburg, Florida, and I've had a few people request to see how I make these motion animation graphics. So this is just a behind the scenes demo of how that works. What I'm going to do is just go over the next shot I need to do in the project and um, work through the process and record it so you can see all the details. So I'm going to edit this together and get it ready to go as a reference audio track, uh, starting here. So quick cut there to get rid of that and then a little bit past the last thing I say and, and then cut there and then put those together make sure that sounds pretty good here to promote the town Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes so that's not too bad and then um, I mean to go to um, this all works so well to the end here so I'm looking for that to get eyes on st. Petersburg Author. We'll cut here and then listen for the noise. He even and cut there. Put those in together. Lot. Go to the end. You can see that's the end there because it's the shorter little piece. In the Sunshine City. So cut there. Just and exploits. And cut here. And put those together. Exploits in the Sunshine City. This all worked so well that... To and then I think that's the end of the sentence. Yes, that's the last sentence here. The city that advertising built. So we'll just cut there and scoot that out of the way. So this audio segment here is what we're going to try and cover today. I'm going to select around that a little bit before and after because we're going to dissolve into it and dissolve out of it. So I need some extra room and then I export that and we'll call it. So we're talking about this guy, um, John Ludwig. So that's what we'll call the segment. And we'll export that clip to the downloads folder. And it is a minute 20, so that's quite long. So back into motion, we're going to make a project that's a minute 20 long. So here's that project in motion, and we're going to import that audio reference clip. So we should hear it in motion now. Ordered John Lodwick, who agreed. Okay, so now we've got the sound here. So the sound in motion is just a reference for the animation, so the timing can be done right. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is load some background images. Uh, so I've got a folder. This is my dining room table. And I took a picture of that a long time ago, and I'm using that as the base image that's going to be at level zero in the 3D. So on the on the z-axis, it's going to be zero. So we just set that. We'll zoom it to 100% scale, and then add a camera, which forces us to switch to 3D. And that now is sort of our zero level. Everything's going to go on top of that. Switch the front view, and there's sort of the behind picture that's going to go behind everything. I'm going to add on top of that this image we've been using for the other shots, which is in this assets folder, and it is a map. So this map goes right on top. And what I normally do is I'll layer these things at 10 pixels apart, because when we add lighting, that will add a nice little shadow underneath and we'll scale that to 100. So that's much bigger than the kitchen room or dining room table is. So I'll just make the dining room table even bigger because if the camera ever peeks out past the edges of the map, I don't want to see black. I want to see the table. So that'll be bigger. The fact that it's zoomed in won't make much difference. So I'll just make that 250. So that's going to be our basis for where the shot's going to go. So looking at the notes, the idea now is to maybe have a file folder come out with some newspaper clippings in it, and then that's going to open, and uh, the newspaper clippings will sort of be revealed one at a time. So I'm going to make a group for the file folder, and we'll load into that some clips I already have somewhere on here. There we go. 
So I've got like the back and the front and this little paper clip, um, an index card and a little label thing. So we might come back and get those later. So load those all in. So here's the back of the folder. We'll make sure it's at 100% scale and it's behind the map right now so you don't see it. Here's the front of the folder and the paper clip we'll deal with later. So this group is gonna be the object that is the entire filing folder. If I solo that, then we'll just see it. So we'll just deal with this. So um, let's just look for now at the back. Um, we'll rotate it to be kind of the right way up. So it's an old folder I had in college that I dug out and it's got a bunch of notes and scribbles on it, which makes it look kind of neat. Here's the front. Rotate, oops, rotate that to match. So it kind of lines up. And then we can, we can scoot it and kind of get it exactly where we want. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put things in between those. Um, but I'm going to attach a few things to the front cover so they move together. So I'll make a new group, which is the front cover. Put that in the file folder group and the front goes in there and then this paper clip can go in there. And there's the paper clip. So um, this front cover, I'm gonna put it uh, 10 pixels up for now and turn the paper clip on. And then we'll just make the paper clip look like it's pointing out. Uh, that's the wrong thing. So we'll scoot the paper clip up. Okay, so then we'll just position that paper clip so it looks kind of neat. Sticking out over the top of the filing folder. Maybe, maybe here. And that lets us move the front cover as a single object. So if we go to the front cover, change the anchor point to be the left edge, we should be able to come into its rotation and see so now we can open it and the paper clip moves with it. So you just want to be careful that it doesn't disappear behind because there's nothing stopping that. But that gives us a neat front cover. And then we'll add some things inside that. So we'll minimize that. I think I'll just make a new group for the back cover just so that that'll go here. Okay, so front cover, back cover and then we'll have the things that are inside the folder. And that goes between these two. And then we'll adjust the Z level later so the lighting adds shadows properly. So the first shot we need, actually, just to make it work, is uh, one of these uh, newspaper articles that we have, um, Purity League. So there's this large picture of uh, people on the beach so we'll go find which one I'm looking for here. It's in this folder, this is where everything is. So I think the first one we're gonna show is this one. So over here, we'll load that in. That's in here. Okay, so there's the image loaded and it's in the inside uh, folder here. So if we turn off the front cover, we can see it there and we'll just scoot it around. I'll probably put it this way up and we'll scale it up to make it look good. Oops. So that looks like it's kind of inside the folder. And we're gonna have several of these, but this will be on top. Okay, and the front cover comes back on. So now we can move the whole folder around, you know, as an object, and we can uh, open the front cover independently and reveal what's inside. And we'll clean up a lot of these gaps and stuff at the end. Um, and when that's lit, that's going to look pretty neat because it'll cast all the shadows and so on appropriately. Okay, so uh, we need to add this picture of this person we're talking about. So we'll import him from a, he was from an old newspaper. 
And uh, we'll put him at 90, which I think is about where he needs to go to be under that paper clip, but above the page, though the front of the file folder. So we can go there and we'll give him a little bit of rotation so it doesn't look as clean. Okay, now I did try linking him with the link option to the file folder, but once the file folder stops moving, I need to move him separately and that might be problematic. So we're gonna try and just keyframe him onto the screen. So at about this point, this is where the file folder finishes moving. So that's a keyframe for his movement. And if we back up to the beginning of where the file folder appears here, that is another keyframe. Kind of puts him there. And then that moves him in, but see, he doesn't stick under the paper clip. So my guess is the X motion isn't moving at the same rate between the two things. So for now, I think the easiest thing to do is to make these linear. And then the file folder is the same thing. Let's see if that looks much better. It's close. Yeah, let's look at them both at the same time. Oh yeah, so one of them ends a lot sooner than the other. So we'll scoot this over. Yeah, that's pretty good. So the, the Y is it's got the same problem, so we look at the Y's. We'll make them both linear. And we'll scoot this one timing wise. Let's see if that's close. Okay, that looks good. And I'm going to make a pass at the end to really clean everything up, but that gets them onto the screen underneath the paperclip pretty well. Okay, back to the camera view. So if he comes onto the screen here, once he stops, we need to move him out from under the paper clip. So the keyframe's pretty good. That's where he stops. So just a quick movement to the right gets him out from under the paper clip, like before he should come towards the camera, maybe down some. And then from here, We'll just keyframe the Z there as well, and the scale, and the rotation. Okay, we're going to move him to a thousand. So we'll scoot him up like another second or so forward to here. This is just a rough guess, and then we'll get him at a thousand. Rotated straight, scale him up so that he fills the screen nicely, and then we'll just position him on the screen kind of okay. Let's just say there. So then the movement comes in. And okay, I gotta fix that. But that looks okay. Okay, so this movement here, that Z movement, which is here, I have a feeling that isn't flat. So I zoom way in on it. Make sure this is linear. Just to see if that fixes it. Yeah, so out from the paper clip, up over the paper clip, onto the screen. Okay. Then we want his name to appear. So listen to the audio for where that should be. Relations director, newspaper reporter John. L okay, so there's where I say his name. So I'm going to stop it there. Newspaper reporter. Right there. Okay. I normally make a group for text objects, so they're easier to find. Make sure we're looking at the camera. This always is tricky because we're working with three dimensions. So it doesn't really matter where I put the text at first, but I do want to spell his name right. So I'll grab it from here. So there's his name. Um, Futura is the font. Now the problem is it's way off as far as where it is. We put the picture at a thousand, so we're going to want to put the text at a thousand which is actually a lot lower than it showed. So it's much, much smaller than you think it is. 
then you can kind of come in and change the font size so that it is sort of okay. And then I want his, um, his job role. A reporter John Lott. So I think newspaper reporter is what we want, so we'll type that. Okay, so that's his title. And then we'll position it so it's got to go more over that way. So at least now we're at the right Z level and the font's the right size. And I like it to sort of overlap a little bit. And actually I'm going to put it in 1010 so that it actually make it 1000. Yeah, 10 is fine. So it maybe just kind of, there's a little perspective between it and the picture. And then to make it more visible, we're going to add an outline. So there's this outline. I don't like it to be too thick, so it's kind of adjust appropriately. And then I'm gonna need this, gonna not need that. Okay, we'll draw this sort of underline that we've been using. So again, it doesn't really matter where you put it because we're gonna move it and start labeling things because when the project gets complicated, things get hard to find. So there's the underline. It's not gonna be filled going to be yellow. This is the palette of colors I've been using, which I pulled from a, one of the photographs we had. Um, this again needs to go to 1000. So now it's in the right position. And obviously it needs to be wider. So can I make it thicker. And then we have been underlying underlining the lower parts of the text. So sort of like this and off to the right more, just sort of stylistically. And then probably a little thicker than that. Okay. So put that about there. Okay. You know, not bad for now. Everything gets moved around later once once the whole thing is assembled. But so that needs to be typed on at the right time director, newspaper reporter John Lodwick. Okay, so the text appears at the right time. We need to type it on, so we'll grab the type object or behavior. For John Lodwick, who agreed to... Okay, and that's about where I'm done talking about who he is. It's here, so that's the end of the typing. So then that makes John it... Lodwick, who agreed to work for... So that's okay. And then we want the underline to match the words newspaper reporter, so we get to about here. Okay, that's where the underline begins, and we write that on, but not much longer than the whole thing takes to type. For John Lodwick, who agreed to work for free for a year. So that's John, and then, okay, next thing I think I want to do, based on the script, is open up the file folder, because this is going to talk about all the schemes this guy came up with, and we're going to make that newspaper article, the first one, kind of appear. So let's figure out where we want the file folder itself to open. And like I said, my guess is it's going to hit this picture in three dimensions and we'll have to deal with that. So let's take a look. John Lodwick, who agreed to work for free for a year to promote the town. Lodwick came up. Okay, so probably in that gap where I'm talking. The town. So right about here. Okay, so the file folder front cover is going to swing open. So we're going to keyframe the Y axis here and give it a couple seconds to swing open. So we'll push it to like 17, 20 something, like 18. And then it's going to swing that way. And yeah, so it goes right through him. So we're going to have to deal with that. But we'll, don't worry about that yet. And we'll open it to let's say right about here, and, and you can kind of see there's this huge gap here, so um, let's see if we can figure that out. Basically, I think this is the start of it opening, and that's the end, so we'll just adjust the gap out. Oops, wrong one. So that you probably don't notice it so much, and we'll kind of scoot this up 
Where's the edge? There's the edge. So let's see what we get there. Okay, so there's still kind of a gap in the rotation. My guess is the anchor point isn't exactly right. So let's see if we can look at that only from the front. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not exactly rotating right, so we'll have to fix that in a detail, but we won't worry about that now. Now the first problem is going to be it's cutting through that guy. So if we look at it from perspective mode, you can really see how much of a problem this is going to be. Um, the file folder depth is much further and it's much deeper than where we've positioned him. So we could move him out a couple, like over a thousand pixels more so that it misses him. Or we could try and move him to the left so that he's out of the way. I think I'm going to move him out. So we'll go back to camera mode. Here's the picture. And we put him at a thousand. So let's try putting him at 2,500. And the text and stuff will have to follow, but let's just see if that's enough. Okay, so then it looks like it misses, so we'll perspective mode. See how much room we have. Oh yeah, barely. So, um, 2,500, we'll make it like 2,600. And now it just misses, so that's probably, you can see this gap here. That's probably what we'll do. But that means moving the text, which didn't keyframe, so it didn't matter. So we'll make it that 2610, and this will be 2600 as well. And then uh, that could open without cutting him off. It does mean the camera will have to be further back. But we haven't really decided where the camera is going to be yet, so, you know, that's why that dining room table is in the picture, so that the map edges have something, you know, outside them. Okay, so that comes there. So then this place. Hire here. a public relations director, newspaper reporter John Lund. Oh, now we've messed up. Okay, so. Yeah, 90, 90, 90. So, uh, we gotta figure out why he's disappeared. So there he is. That puts him at 138. You know, we're not gonna necessarily argue too much about that. So we'll put it, is 140 good? Okay, so we'll move him from 140 to 140. And then I think what we'll do is we'll move the paper clip. And this should be 140. And this stupid paper clip, you can just make sure it's above him. Okay. Okay, out he comes. There's the text. That doesn't smack him anymore. Yeah, I think when we moved the keyframes around, that adjusted that, so everything's related. Yeah, once that opens then, we're gonna need to get that newspaper article out so we can see it and uh, move him out of the way. So, I guess we're moving him anyway, but
Okay, so let's say, let's listen to the text, the audio. To promote the town. Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes to get... Okay, so that's about where we want the that newspaper thing to come out. I mean, the next thing I say is we're talking about the Purity League and the these um, bathing suit inspector things, um, which is what that newspaper article is about. So here's where things get complicated and everything has to be get juggled around the screen. But if we move him over... Like right about here, we'll start him moving. So here's the picture, we'll keyframe here and we'll give it a couple seconds. Let's listen to what I say. Tourists to visit his city. Okay, about to there, might be a bit slow, but keyframe him there and we'll move him, oops, we'll move him way over here. Assuming this is about where the camera will go. And then that is the same keyframe for the text on the underline. Starting here. So they all kind of move together. We'll see what this looks like. And I'll just scoot this over as well. Gets him out of the way. Came up with all kinds of schemes to get tourists to visit his city. Sort of right before he starts to move, we're going to move that newspaper page, which is on the inside here. It's a keyframe, and we'll probably rotate it. We'll just do all of that. And we'll bring that up so that the camera sees it clearly. Get tourists to visit his city. He Maybe established there. We need a keyframe. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we put his picture at 2600. So for depth of field focusing reasons, let's keep the newspaper article, you know, about the same. So we'll say 2550, that puts it there. And then we'll rotate it to be straight and scoot it over. somewhere right about there. And then we can bring the camera in, perhaps, and see what that looks like. Maybe we'll put it up uh, there. Okay, so that gives us this. Who agreed to work for free for a year to promote the town. Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes to get tourists to visit his city. He established the Purity League, which... So I think it is all moving a little bit too slowly. Um, Let's sort of speed it up a bit. Public relations director, newspaper reporter John Lodwick, who agreed to work for free for a year to promote the town. Okay. Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes That's to get okay. tourists not to visit his city. He established the... Yeah, I think it's just moving too slowly. So let's scoot all this back. The left as well. Okay, so that should get it moving quicker. To get tourists to visit his city. He has okay, so it crosses over. So I think the Z is too high. Or it's happening. Now it's happening too soon. still crosses. Okay, so here's about where it crosses. If we just bring the Z down, so it's not a problem. I'll scoot you over. We should be able to get the rotation all about in line. So I think I'll probably move the camera in because we're too far away from that, but we can't bring it much closer. So just as rough camera moves, sort of as that's kind of going, let's get the camera move started. So assuming this is where we're gonna open, that's keyframed on the camera. We'll adjust all this later. He comes in, flies out, that's all fine. Okay, so right about 
here, we'll begin a camera move. Trail it a little bit and come in. And there's the article. I've got to check if it is really tilted. Let's look at it from the side. Yeah, so it's rotated around the wrong axis. So that one, this should go back to the keyframe on that one. That should be zero. Okay. There we go. So if we look at that from the camera's point of view. Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes to get tourists to visit his city. He established the Purity League, which appointed an official bathing suit inspector to... Okay, while I'm talking about it, we can zoom in. ...to stop the frolics on the beaches. So we'll just add another camera keyframe, which is going to happen a lot more slowly, but we'll zoom in pretty good and over tourists to visit his city. He established the Purity League, which appointed an official bathing suit inspector to stop the frolics on the beaches. This made headlines in all the northern newspapers who... Okay, you know, it's rough, and we'll clean it up, but that's not bad for a starting point. Okay, next step. There's another sentence to say, and um, I think what I want to do is move this newspaper article down, back down to the folder, but on the left side, revealing the next, probably the next two, and um, fly those back out. So let's just figure out timing and we'll scoot it down. The Purity League, which appointed an official bathing suit inspector to stop the frolics on the beaches. This made headlines in all the north. Yeah, so right about where the keyframe currently is, we can put it down. So. This is at 29-ish, so here's 30, this is a couple seconds to put it down, let's keyframe these things, and uh, you know everything's gotten a bit messed up as far as the, the vertical, but my guess is this is around 100, that's nah, not right. <laughs> let's look at the perspective and why that wasn't right, so, oh it's because we moved the camera, okay, alright, sorry. Don't want those. We need to be moving you. Okay. All right. So up it comes. It's on the beaches. This made headlines and all. Yeah. Right. To stop the frolics on the beaches. This made oh, headlines. Okay. So starting about there. Give it a couple seconds. It's at 30. So 31, 32 is two seconds. Let's put that at 100. Okay. And then it won't be perfect. We're going to have to angle it to line up with the pay, uh, the folder cover. So that's down and then we'll rotate it this way. And then we'll rotate it this way. And maybe look at it from above. Scoot it over. Yeah, so it's definitely on the page and then up. So it's above the page, you know, and it's a little sloppy, but it won't, but it won't be too bad from the camera's point of view. I don't think so down over here a little bit more that way. Okay. So that sort of puts it on the cover. So it's going to go down. And again, these are just rough moves. We'll clean them all up later. Um, I think I'm going to get the camera down too so that the folder is more framed. This made headlines and all. So probably when it starts moving round about, we'll go to the camera. We're not really dealing with its the tilting and, and pan, you know, the angles of it so much, but we might come back and do that. So somewhere here, we'll just kind of scoot this down. Maybe back out a bit so that we see the folder. And what I normally do is these camera moves are just placeholders. 
and we'll smooth them out later once we got all the basic movement down. So that kind of zoomed in, that came back. Now we need the next two articles over here. So we have got a text article that too much to read, but the headline is interesting. There's this picture of the mayor that we want to use. And there's another picture. Well, that's the one we did. There's another picture here. Um, which I think I want to use later. So I made notes. Yeah, that's going to be later. So we're good for the mayor and the article with text in it. And they're probably going to be smaller. So here's the mayor. Let's throw him in. Okay, so he goes inside the folder. Um, he'll need to exist from the very beginning. So we're sort of hoping that he moves with it. Let's see. So yeah, as we open the folder. Yeah, there he is. Okay, but he's gonna have to go beneath the CVAMP one. So you won't see him. But you won't see him at all until that space is revealed, which is fine. And then we'll just kind of scoot him somewhere on the page. So he's not just dead centered. I like my kind of notes. So I'll throw him over here and we can probably make him bigger. Whoops, don't want to do that. Okay, and we might rotate so they don't look so square. Okay, so then that'll, you know, he's in there, but you just don't see it. This opens, that's fun to fly out. We'll look at that for a while. Okay, and then that reveals the mayor. And then we also want the larger one you know, with lots of text on it. Um, we'll just put it so that maybe it's only slightly, make it nice and big. It can go on top, I think. I think we're gonna, whoops, dang it. Okay, and then we'll move it out of the way, make it a little less square, tilt it the other way, over to the right. So those kind of things are in the folder then, and they'll all move with the folder because they're in the group. Okay, now the camera's kind of far out and it'll be focused on this image we see here. So we either focus on those or we bring them out, fly them out, which is probably what we'll do. The Purity League, which appointed an official bathing suit inspector to stop the frolics on the beaches. This made headlines in all the so northern newspapers out. who debate. Yeah, okay, so I'm talking about the fact that the newspapers are debating the issue. So we'll bring the one with a lot of text on it out first. So just for efficiency, like as soon as it's sort of possible to move it out, we will do so. So that is this one. So we'll keyframe there. And we'll just give it a couple seconds. We're at 31, they're 33 in a bit. And that'll be the point that it moves out. Now what I want to see is, okay, so we had this article at about 2337 on the Z axis. So this one, let's move it to about the same. Okay, which puts it there. That way the camera focus doesn't have to change too much. And we'll move it more into the picture. Rotate it. And now that I said all that, I do want it closer than that. Okay, so again, all kind of rough, but centered. It's not likely anybody's going to be able to like, read this other than the headline. So let's listen for timing. Frolics on the beaches. This made headlines in all the northern newspapers who debated the legality of such a thing and wondered what exactly was all this beach frolicking about anyway. Okay, so let's say that sentence is about to where we want to show that article. So let's just keyframe that moment. Um, let's start scooting the camera around. So it's kind of out here. We may as well move it in closer. So that's where we're gonna move that article away. So at about that point, the camera needs to be somewhat closer. so that um, you can read that text and we know what we're looking at. So 
Um, and I like to keyframe things even if I don't move them, just so that they exist as points down here and I don't get confused. Okay, Beaches. so that moves out. This made headlines in all the northern newspapers who Ian. debated the legality of such Camera a thing. Camera kind of moves in and slowly. And wondered what exactly That's was all you this beach frolicking it. about anyway. Okay, and then we look at what we're going to say next. So, little did they know, blah, blah, blah. So this whole thing is a ploy by the mayor. So this is where the mayor comes in. Um, so again, same thing. This article is going to move away. So it's at 39. So if it goes, it takes two seconds to put it down somewhere around 41 or so. It doesn't need a whole lot of rotation, which is good. Um, although we will need to twist it slightly. So let's uh, twist it, which is on the Y axis. That's the camera. That did it again. Okay, I don't want to undo that one. Okay, so we're actually moving you. Okay. Okay, so we need to twist on the Y a little bit. And then we need to move way down. And then we're just going to tweak it. So if, if we stack them here, it's probably good. And then kind of give it a, a look from the side. Actually, it's not bad, but probably. Actually, it really isn't bad. So we'll do the rest on the camera. Yeah, you want it as close as you can. Okay, so that should move that one out of the way. Frolicking about anyway. Little did they know it was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to... Okay, so now we're talking about the mayor. So as this one's dropping, let's say about here, we'll bring the mayor in, which is that one, and give him two seconds. Again, we'll, we'll tweak all these timings. Okay, there's about two seconds. We know it's up really high. And we'll straighten it out. And then we we'll just put it sort of center. So that brings the mayor in. Little did they know it was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on St. Petersburg. Okay, and again, we'll bring the camera closer. But I'm also thinking I'm going to float that text off the, off the page because it's worth reading. So I don't need to get that close. So we'll go somewhat closer with the camera. Just keyframe everything else. Okay, how long? Little did it? they know it was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on Saint Petersburg. He even invented. Okay, so then in that silence, we'll basically put him away. So back to the mayor. Keyframe. A little bit of a twist. Down. Over. So that they kind of stack up, we can kind of, you know, not make a uh, little, make it so you can read that headline, and then down into whoop until he disappears. Okay. Okay, that that wasn't right because we didn't keyframe. I logged with and the mayor to get eyes on Saint Petersburg. Okay, so that's we missed that. So that's about where we want him to start moving. So we keyframe that. We know that was zero. And the Z was 2,500, so I'll just type it in here. And the, so 136 or 37 goes here, and 12, negative 1267 goes there. Okay, so it should basically be right. There's a little hump to it because it's not linear, but we'll fix all that, like I said, later. Okay, so we'll just make those linear for now, but that's something I go back and I tweak all these anyway, so... Little did they know it was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on St. Petersburg. He even invented what Okay, and then we're on to the next topic. So one thing I'm noticing is this underlines on the screen, so we're totally going to have to get rid of him. So my guess is it might just be easier. That instead of moving him over and then zooming in to where we don't see him, let's just fade him out entirely. So let's do that. So here's his picture. Here's where he moves. So here's about where we were going to do that. We just don't need to worry about him moving. And we don't need to move the text or the underline. But we do need to fade him out. Just get him off the screen. So we'll keyframe the opacity for all these elements. Now one trick is 
if you modify the opacity of text, it renders the text, which lowers the quality. You actually have to render or modify the opacity of the elements within the text. So we'll do all of those and then we'll give it about a second. So it's at 1828, we'll move it to 1928 or so. And then we'll just change the opacity to zero on these two things and you up here and the picture not the border the picture okay so that just gets them off the screen okay what i'd like to do now is bring out some of this text that is at the bottom of the screen and i don't want to zoom the camera into it i want to make that text kind of float out off the page so i'm going to need an image element just of that text. So um, over here in my assets, here's a picture of the mayor. So we'll come in and grab the piece of text that we want. Um, so probably just this little piece. So we'll just select rather likes the sea vamps and I kind of like how this looks like you've cut it out with scissors um, so that's probably good so that's just that text and we'll dump that back out into the same folder so this will be like the mayor text and then we don't need to save any of this or keep you okay so we can either decide to put it in the file folder but that's gonna probably cause problems and i don't think it gains, gains us anything so i'm going to make a new um, group i almost may as well put it in this images group here's the text then so now what we need to do is line it up with the text that's on the screen so that means positioning it basically where the mayor is. So he zoomed to 127.63. So if we zoom this the same, um, it should theoretically line up. And then these are, this is his position. So negative 1230. And then 147, let's say. And then 2500. Okay, and then that just roughly puts it where we want it. Okay, so there it is, just above the other one. So we'll just look from the side. Yeah, it's just exactly over the other text. But yeah, roughly speaking, okay, it's going to kind of come in, start moving off off of his image right about there. So we'll scoot it over and down. Okay, so that's about where we want it to begin. So that's its in. And then it's going to dissolve in. So just a few frames. Oh, back up. So it starts at zero. Okay, just a few frames in. And then that is also its keyframe starting point. And maybe let's just listen to it and decide how quickly we want to bring it in. To get eyes on St. Petersburg. Okay, so let's say about there. But we need to bring it in quite a ways to make it bigger. So way big and way up and much bigger but, you know it'll go out of focus because there's not enough resolution in it but you know and then we'll put it on the camera like right around there but maybe not that far in okay so so that looks like to the camera now they know it was a ploy by lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on saint petersburg okay he so then you can time it based on how long it takes to read that and make it go away only after you've had time to read it. So let's, let's just count in our heads. Uh, 
Oh, it was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on St. Petersburg. St. Petersburg, who rather He even invented what came to be known. Okay, so we could probably make it go no, away the... somewhere around there. And it's probably easiest here just to fade it out. So that's a key frame and go like a second for The Lodwick tech. And it goes away. Okay. It was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on St. Petersburg. He even invented what came to be known as the Lodwick technique. Okay. Okay, so we're about halfway through this shot. We've got everything to the right here yet to do, but just for demonstration purposes, let's move on to just kind of smoothing this out some, and then we'll get into lighting and finishing it up. So I'm gonna just look at the camera movement and see what we have so far. So there's a, okay, so right off there's a problem, like here's a piece of something that's just sitting there that shouldn't exist yet. So that's existing before the folder exists. So here's here's where the folder exists. And um, you can see on the left, the ones that are grayed out are not visible because they are they haven't reached their endpoint yet. But these two need their endpoint set just so that they just don't exist and get in the way. So it's somewhere around there. So we'll just endpoint that one and that one. Okay. So the camera starts here. St. Pete's was no stranger to self-promotion. It was the first city in the U.S. to hire a public relations director, newspaper reporter John Lodwick. Okay, so there's the beginning. So first thing is, I don't specifically, I think there's nothing going on at the beginning. And there's, it's too dead. Um, so if we look at the camera position, we need it to be a roundabout in this position where this text appears but for this entire opening we can move it perhaps or we could add some more stuff to the screen but i think what i'll do is i'll just move it in and maybe you know center this a little bit more okay so here comes this sort of opening Camera move out as I'm St. talking. St. Pete's was no stranger to self-promotion. It was the first city in the U.S. to hire a public relation. Okay, but we don't want to see this folder at that point. So, around about here, we need the camera to be closer. So, I'm going to just grab this point over here and scoot it down. So that we don't really see that. Okay, I still need to be closer. Okay, so that should, we'll basically pull out, might add some more stuff to this later, I don't know. Okay, and then the, the folder comes in, but we don't see it up here. He's on it, and then slips out and comes forward, okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much okay. I was kind of curious if I wanted to keep this border on it, but it's not bad. So maybe I'll leave that. It comes out. He flies out. It says the text. Okay, so let's see if these camera positions are moving smoothly. U.S. to hire a public relations director, newspaper reporter John. So if we change these points to be continuous... It'll move very smoothly through them, but that'll really change exactly the path the camera takes. As you can see now, it's going way over and back down, so we'll have to tweak all that, but it'll really smooth this Relations out. Relations director, newspaper reporter John Lodwick, who agreed to work for free for a year to promote the town. So that's not too bad, so we'll make these points continuous. See how that looks. Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes to get tourists to visit his city. He established the okay, Purity League. And then this just needs to be continuous. It kind of makes it flow through these points instead of moving to them and stopping and then moving on. He established the Purity League, which appointed an official you know, baby. Much, much smoother. The tr truth is, let's make all these continuous. But you get these weird 
um, changes in direction there that we'll this, have to deal with. This made headlines in all the northern newspapers who debated the... I mean, it's not horrible, but it's a bit too fast. So if we take this one and scoot it more over, and you can just look at the flow of this curve. Make sure it seems smooth. This, this made headlines in all the northern newspapers who debated... Okay, and then the vertical ones are the same, so we'll just grab x and y and scoot them well over here and this can sort of split the difference let's see what that looks like this made headlines in all the northern newspapers who debated the legality of such a thing and wondered what exactly yeah, okay. was all this beach frolicking about anyway little did they know it was a ploy by lodwick and it's the okay. mayor to get eyes on saint peter okay, so he's floating around a bit weirdly so here's the mayor okay and you can see it so we'll just zoom in a little bit so you can see on the green one, it's gotten curved. So, oops, we just make this, I think we'll make this one and this one linear. Okay, so that straightens it out. Well, did they know it was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on St. Petersburg? He even okay, that's better. And that text floats out, um, and it's fine, but it's covering him up, so I'm gonna move it down. So we find where we move it to and just scoot it down on the Y. And this way, it, you don't try to read the text that I'm, that's underneath either. Because I'm blocking and the it. mayor to get eyes on St. Petersburg. He even invented what came to be okay. known as the Lodwick technique. And then we get on to the next bit, which we'll do later. So let's back it up, see what we have. St. Pete's was no stranger to self-promotion. It was the first city in the U.S. to hire a public relations director. Okay. News I think what I'm going to do is move that folder in sooner so that there's just not so much dead space for so long. St. Pete's was no stranger to self- So maybe here. So this, is the, this should be the folder move, and it should move all the objects within it, although it won't move the picture of the guy. We'll have to fix that. No, and it doesn't exist yet, so um, here's the folder. You know, some of these are the things that are inside the folder. At least now they all they should all exist. Okay, and he just needs to catch up, so we'll fix that. Pete's was no stranger to self-promotion. It was the first city in the U.S. to hire a... Okay, so if we turn you back off, here's the folder moving. And this point here is the beginning of that move. Um, here's the picture of Lodwig. So we'll just start him moving at the same moment. Promotion. It was the first city in the U.S. to hire a public relations director. Newspaper yeah, that reporter. looks really good. Okay, now we want him to move out from under the paper clip, maybe with a little less director. Newspaper reporter. A little more fluidity. So, looking at those keyframes, let's figure out what we're doing. So. This is the left to right movement out from under the paper clip. And then we expand the scale and the Z. So we have to be kind of careful because we don't want them to move through the paper clip. But the X axis one, you can kind of see that straight and then curve. And I think this is part of the, the jerkiness. So I'm going to try making this one just a continuous so that we flow through. Ooh, look at that. That's, that's a happy accident. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works, but it's stupid. So newspaper. Yeah, we don't want that then. Okay, so put it back. Okay, we can tweak the Bezier stuff. So let's smooth this out. Try not to move them. You know, kind of make it a little more fluid. Dur. Newspaper reporter. Okay, John. and then the. The Z, where it's coming off the page, needs to not happen so suddenly, which is, you know, it's obviously, it's, so we'll just ease out that one, and I may as well ease in this one. Paper reporter. 
newspaper reporter John Lodwick. That's who probably okay. Let's take another one. Director, newspaper reporter John Lodwick. Yeah, that's probably that's acceptable. And then the um, scale. Which scale was it? Z. I oh, guess all of them. Um, let's see if we can just do scale them all. We'll just ease both on those. Okay. Paper reporter John Lodwick, who agreed. It's a little smoother, and now the text seems okay. Newspaper reporter John Lodwick, who agreed to work for free for a year to promote the town. Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes to get tourists. Neat. Oh, okay. So there's a problem. When that, okay. So the newspaper article with the text on it is in front. So. Hopefully we can just change the stacking order here and it'll just straighten itself out. Okay. Came up with all kinds of schemes to get tourists to visit his city. He established the... Okay. I'm going to dissolve. I'm going to fade him out sooner. So let's just decide. Because I want you to see the articles in the folder director, before they move. Newspaper reporter John Lodwick, who agreed to work for free for a year to promote the town. So probably Lodwick came here. Okay, so the picture, there's the fading point. This is the opacity change, so we're moving that over. And then the text. Hopefully this is all of it. Moves over, underline moves over. Let's see if that's everything. Promote the town. Lodwick came up with all kinds of yeah, schemes okay. to get tourists now to visit his... Go. Okay, we'll smooth that out. So that's this one. Um, when you add X, Y, or Z movement, it tends to ease them in and out, but rotational movement doesn't. So I do tend to like and come back on these, and, and we're mostly dealing with... So we can just ease these and ease these. So what that looks like kinds of schemes to get tourists to visit his city he established yeah, that's, that's smoother so we'll do that for that one and then these so it's mostly going to be this so we'll ease those Oops. northern newspapers who debated the legality of such a thing that's okay. and that's wondered what smooth. exactly what okay we're going to add some lights to the project uh, so I'm going to switch just off the camera view so I see the whole thing. Oh, there's that guy. So that's the moves, all the moves we have. And the first thing I want to do is cast some shadows. So we'll add a light. What I've been doing is turning that up really bright, but putting it really high. Now, one problem is we've... We've positioned some of these objects quite high. Um, so as things come out, <laughs> you can get these shadows. Um, so I think the problem here is that the light, yeah, the light's way too close to him because he's come out much further off the page than I necessarily normally do. So we'll have to try and deal with this. So put it up way, way, way high and just sort of scoot it to where the shadows appear in the frame of the camera, you know, generally. So, yeah, I mean, once he's gone, the shadows are fine. So, so those are really horribly dark shadows and that, you know, we're not gonna, that's not what you're really gonna see. So that's just the light that generates the shadows. Um, so we'll call this one the shadow light. And then I add, another light no shadows um, we'll experiment with the same brightness and this is the one that just illuminates the scene so um, because he flies off the page so far I think we're gonna need a light up high enough to light him and the objects like him so um, you know that that light's got to hit these objects and sort of we're going to use it for all of them so we'll put it kind of there and then I usually back it off until it isn't blowing out the image but does add a bit of texture to it 
So I'll put that light there. And, and then we'll just sort of run through the scene, at least as far as when the objects are off the page, are they lit okay? So that's a bit hot. It's not bad, but it's, so we'll back it off. See if we can get away with not having to move it around during the scene, which is fine, but it's easier not to. So that's okay. Yeah, that comes out, that looks kind of neat. And then that's, that's fine. So now the problem is the background is, is too dark. Um, so we're going to need some lower lights to light the map and so on. So we'll call this, I guess this is a highlight. Hi, hi, no, highlight. Yeah, whatever. Oops. Okay, so this one is going to be more of a low light, closer to the table. No shadows. We'll set it pretty bright, but we'll put it more like at a thousand and see what it looks like. So it's still pretty hot. Um, now you either move it further away or you dim it, but I'll just go ahead and move it further away. I like to see some of its effects and not make it too flat. Okay, so we just need to light the map. Now this is a lot of area to cover, so we'll just duplicate that light. You know, put another one down here and then duplicate it again. And we'll put one off to the right. Now I'm worried because the the folder's gonna open and it's gonna it might move through these lights. So let's just see what it does. Yeah, so we get these hot spots there on the left. And then as it's coming on the page, oh it's not bad. So we just need to deal with those hot spots over there. And the easiest thing I think to do there is just scoot these. Either that one can kind of go here, or it could go over there. Uh, I think we'll, we'll put that one there. And this one will scoot past the edge of it. There we go, so it isn't really gonna hit it so much. Okay. So it's gonna move in. You know, fade out. So that's kind of lit everything. Probably it's going to be fine. You know, and the shadows are sort of not too strong, but give a sense of depth. So one thing I do like to do is when I'm doing text, just because legibility is important, I don't want, I don't want them to actually be lit. They're just going to be bright and then they, they don't get any shadow on them. Um, and assuming that light's going to go away before it's, blocked by anything so we're you know that's going to always be readable and not hidden in shadow okay so not bad for a rough rough draft next thing we would do is depth of field so we'll turn on depth of field which puts everything out of focus and go to the camera and set a keyframe on the focus offset and tell it to focus on the map. And then if we're lucky, because I haven't tilted the camera, the focus should be pretty straightforward. Um, so I'm just using the control F key every time I think I need to refocus. As it's moving and it gets out of focus, I tell it to focus again, adding keyframes of focus. So then the, the folder should be fine. And then this guy's picture is really the important thing, so I'll, I'll actually focus on that, even though it, it won't be much different than the map. Okay, now he's moving. So before he leaves the page, I'll put another focus keyframe on him, and then let him kind of move up. And now he's way out of focus, but I'm going to focus on the text because that's what you need to read. So, so what we get is in focus on the folder, and then refocusing as he moves and then in focus at the end of his move. And then when there's text on the screen, I'll nearly always focus on the text. So I'm not focusing on the 
folder move. But just kind of throw in keyframes on the text just to make sure. Okay, now it's gone. So um, that means we have to refocus on this. So we, ha we can decide what to do because this is going to move pretty quickly. So it's, there's probably no point in focusing in on it in the folder. Let's just leave it out of focus until it comes up here. And then somewhere where you would be able to read it, we will focus on it. And now that the camera's moving a lot now, so we have to keep riding the focus. So I'm just hitting Control F every few frames just to make sure that what you're meant to read stays in focus. And you can see it's about to move away. So I'll focus on it one last time at the end here. And then let that come in and then we'll focus on that. So that's this one. Focus. 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 And then we see it's going to move away. So I'm not too worried about it. And then we're going to focus on the mare. Pretty much there. And he's moving to the same pretty much Z position. So he'll already be in focus. Okay, now as that text floats off, we're going to want to focus on it. So let it come off the page a little bit. And here's the mayor text. I mayor. That's funny. Okay. And then we start focusing on it. And you can see how that floating text effect kind of really works now. Because the depth of field really draws your eye to what you're supposed to read. And then he's going to go away and we're off to the next set, the next shot that we're working on. So that should be focused and lighting. And we'll just consider this a rough draft. All right, so then we're ready to render. So uh, we'll call it, um, ooh, I don't know. What are we going to call this? I forget. So we'll call it um, Mayor Part 1. Yeah, it's just a draft. And then in the render settings, or the, here, we want this as best. We have motion blur on, blending on. Lighting and shadows are on, but reflections are off. I don't know if it makes any difference, but I don't really want them. Depth of field is on. And we're going to put it in the downloads folder and hit save. Okay, the render is done. So um, let me go through the process of loading it into Final Cut. We go back into Final Cut. Get to the point where we were. Load in the clip. So there's the clip, and now here's the reference audio that is included in the motion project. But this is the actual audio that we're going to use, because it's just easier to deal with it in Final Cut if I need to retime things or tweak things and whatever. But this at least allows me to time the animations with the sound. So we come back in here, line them up as well. It doesn't really matter, but come as close as I can just looking at the keys. And just get rid of that one, dissolve into it, and then fine tune that okay, there we go. from the last shot. So usually I just back it up until the sound clips touch, and then see if that looks okay. He'd meet them in their hotel lobbies to try and convince them to buy real estate from him. Okay, so I think that dissolved too soon. So um, we'll stick on the prior shot longer, but start talking, you know, without a gap there. Last. And when they arrived, he'd meet them in their hotel lobbies to try and convince them to buy real estate from him. St. Pete's was no stranger so okay. to self-promotion. It was the first city in the U.S. to hire a public relations director, newspaper so reporter okay. John Lodwick, who agreed to work for free for a year to I'll promote the town. see if I keep town. it there. I might move it to the left. Lodwick came up with all kinds of schemes to get tourists to visit his city. And that's he established the Purity League, so which that. appointed an official bathing suit inspector to stop the frolics on the beaches. This made headlines in all the northern newspapers it. who debated the legality of such a that thing looks good and, and wondered sharp. what exactly was all this beach frolicking about anyway. Little did they know it was a ploy by Lodwick and the mayor to get eyes on St. Petersburg. Yeah, and that's good. He even invented what came to be known as the Okay, Lodwick and then we didn't go past technique. this, so the rest Find of the, the shot I still need to do. But that's it for this demo. Now you know how 
I edit some of this motion stuff together. <laughs>